It's my great pleasure to welcome you to my channel, Let's Get Graphics and Multimedia. My name is Rafi Yakub right here, and in today's video, we are going to learn step by step on how to create a seller account on Fiverr, a step by step tutorial without any stress. So, yes. But before we dive into the tutorial, if you're bringing it to this channel and you love Fiverr freelancing content like this, consider to subscribe for more tutorials. So, with that being said, let's get started. Welcome, my friends. So, let's see how to create a seller account on Fiverr, step by step tutorial. The very first thing you want to do is to make sure you come to your address bar and type in Fiverr. Then press enter. Then the next thing you want to do is to make sure you click on Fiverr.com. Then come to the top right here, click on join. Then simply click on continue with Google. Then select your Gmail account. Then click on continue. Then right here you need to enter your username. So you can see an example right here on how proper you should write your username. So you have to follow the instruction. So right here I'm going to write my personal username. Then come down below right here. After you write, uh, you are choosing your username. Then come down right here. Click on create my account. So your account has been created. What brings you to Fiverr? Then you have to scroll down and choose what exactly you want to be doing on Fiverr. So buyer freelancing. Uh, buyer. So the first section here is buying freelance services, selling freelance services. So this is what you need to click. Selling freelance services. Then having select on that, come to the bottom right here. Click on next. Then right here you have to tell Fiverr the type of freelancer you are. Are you a side also freelancer, solo freelancer, agency employee, or agency owner? So you can choose any one of the four options right here. So I'm going to leave it in solo freelancer. Then I'll click on next. So right here you have to tell Fiverr the type of experience you have. So I'm just getting started. Freelancing online, freelancing offline, both online and offline. So you have you you should be able to know the kind of skill that you want to help her, and this will tell you the type of the freelancer you have. So in this section here, I will just put it in, I'm just getting started. Okay, select on that, then click on finish. So it's as simple as that. An account has been successfully created on Fiverr. Next thing you want to do is to click on complete your seller profile. Click on that. So at the top right here, your account has been created successfully. So it's as simple as that. So you can easily scroll down and see more information about Fiverr. Right here, a gig is bought every four seconds. You can imagine the type of traffic on this particular site. Transactions over 50 million plus. Then price range between $5 to $10. So you can scroll down and see more people that have been working. You can read more information about Fiverr right here. Now for you to work on your profile, then you have to click on the top right here so click on your profile icon right here then you have your profile information such as profile post a request refer a friend become a seller settings billing and payments usd english etc now you want to do some settings right here just click on settings so some things you can do under the settings right here you can change your full name you can change your this is the email address that you use to register then you can easily scroll down. So basically, these are the two things you can do in this particular section. You can navigate to security section right here. So under the security section, this is where you will need to set your login password. Okay. So for here, you have to enter your login new password. Then you have to confirm your password. Having confirm your password, next thing you want to do is to make sure you click on save changes. So from the top here, you see setting successfully updated. So you have done with password section. So you can also scroll down and check on other things you can do. One of the things you can do here is your phone verification. So you have to do your phone verification, security question and answer, you have to set up everything then you have to turn your two-factor authentication right here then so you can scroll down and see everything and set up everything right here then next thing you want you can do here is your notifications so under the notification tab right here you need to make sure that everything here is active so just make sure everything is tick then you are good to go this simply means that each time you have any inbox you will get a message from fiverr 
that somebody is messaging you, maybe via request or whatsoever. So that is that. Then that is for the notification. So you can scroll down and check on another thing you can do as far as the notification is concerned. Then read factor authentication. You make sure this is also this two button here is also active. Then you just need to scroll down. Then click on save changes. So from the top here, settings successfully update. So each time you are doing any settings, always make sure that it was successfully update before you move to another section of settings. Then the next, the very last one here, which is business information. So let's check it out. If sellers on Fiverr, you don't need this particular business section. So just keep it. So what you need is your account, security, and notification. These are the three elements you need to put in place in settings of your profile of Fiverr. So it's as simple as that. So this is a step-by-step -step on how to create a Fiverr account. A Fiverr seller so it's as simple as that so this is a step-by-step -step on how to create a seller Fiverr account so in my future tutorial I'm going to make a lot of tutorial about this Fiverr and how you can create your first gig how you make your first order and how you can deal with clients or buyer on Fiverr a step-by-step -step tutorial if you really enjoyed this video give this video a big like and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more future tutorial about Fiverr freelancing seller. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye for now.